his friends Another week went by and we barely even spoke Think I'm beginning to read a sequence Why did you turn your back on me? Maybe there's something I don't see Could you just shed a little Hey guys, welcome back to The Sims 4 Vampires with the cutie little bean Sammy B right here. And tragedy struck the Villarreal household with the tragic passing of one Jacques Villarreal. He is not on here. Yeah, I can't find his ghost now on here, but yeah, there he is. Sadly, Jacques passed away of old age. And this was actually quite bad because Lilith was at home looking after little baby Claire at the time. And Claire is now a toddler. And, um, like, Jux was playing around with with Claire, having a good old time, making silly faces, they were playing. And then Lilith came over, she was going to go and, like, pick up Claire and help, like, make her some lunch. And then Jux just sort of had a heart attack and sort of sadly passed away quite suddenly in front of them. Like, there was nothing Lilith could do. Poor little Claire got traumatized from this because, like, her uncle just straight up died in front of her which is actually quite sad to see and they had to help they held a funeral out in Newcrest and everyone like ton of everyone was really sad though it was an incredibly incredibly depressing moment for them or so I think Sam B got hit quite hard as well like he seems okay now intense because he doesn't have his phone on him, but he was pretty upset during the whole sermon because, after all, like Jacques allowed him to like live in this little place while he goes to study art, and I think like he's pretty much done with his studying now because he has mastered the artistic skill. But the also other thing was was that they all lived together in the house, and he essentially grew up with like Jacques and his cousins because the Villarreal mansion is huge. And like they didn't, a lot of them didn't have anywhere to go. Lilith and Jamie certainly didn't have anywhere to go. And then Sharks basically invited them in to live with them because they had the space. And all the kids sort of grew up together, together. And it, it was pretty, pretty sad for them. I think the, uh, the his cousins are all still pretty like beaten up about yeah. it yeah. as well. Abel as well had to head back from San Machino and take a few days off to help arrange the funeral. And the will reading hasn't started yet, so all the kids are getting like stipends and trust funds like activated and Lilith and Abel have been working with an attorney to get a adoption process started at least for uh, Hugo, Luna and Max because they are um, because she is now essentially their legal guardian. She and Jamie are the legal guardians of the, of the, yay the fruits have come in. Yay! That's fun. Okay, Nate's back from work. He did go to the funeral as well just to keep Sammy B company and make sure he was okay but Simon B's doing he's doing okay now he's still pretty pretty upset about losing Jacques but I think he's gonna be okay for now for now he's actually just Ooh, you know I waiting go? for I think he's just waiting for uh, to get some paintings done he still needs to get some more training done so at some point he is gonna need to get because he's read the books now so there's not really much else he can do so he's read all of the books and I think basically uh is that yeah Lilith's here oh she looks so down she just looks so so I feel so bad for her oh, honey why are you in your workout gear don't be in your workout gear it's like below freezing out here put your cold weather outfit on put your cold weather outfit on honey oh she's just it's she looks so depressed and I feel so bad for her for her and Abel. Abel seemed to be handling it okay. But poor Lilith. Poor Lilith was just like pretty trauma. I think she, she is traumatized the most. Her and her little girl have both been traumatized by witnessing his death right in front of them. It's so incredibly sad for them to go through. But with, you know, death there comes renewal of life and all that. Also this winter, so it's just pretty, it was a pretty sad Thing all around for them all. For them all. Sammy B as well needs to finish up painting all his boyfriends. So he's going to probably grab a couple of them over today, get them to pose, and get some pictures done. Ooh, a lot. A nice, 
one. Sammy B is actually on his way to becoming a two-star celebrity. He's actually doing pretty well for his, uh... He's doing quite well for his, uh, fame. As well. It's kind of fun letting, being, letting him being able to, like, get famous. His reputation is also incredibly, incredibly good. And Nate as well. Now that Nate's moved in, he has been thinking about maybe going out to find find them a new place and look to the city. He is also wanting to take his art seriously, so he's thinking that he does quit his job and may at the uh at the coffee house and then get a new job maybe as painter somewhere. Maybe if he chats to Caleb he might be able to get in with his art gallery because they know that Caleb is painter. Vlad is also a famous art critic. Maybe they could talk to him if they wanted to. But I'm not sure if they will. But I know that, you know, Nate is looking for a... Nate is thinking about it. Oh, he wants to kiss Sammy B. He's thinking about getting a serious job as a painter. Because he loves to paint. He's a bit of a street artist when he wants to be. But he does take his art very seriously. He does take his art very seriously. And he thinks maybe being a painter would help with that. That'll be in a critic. He's not entirely sure what he wants to do. But he knows he wants to do something with art. Sammy B. It's almost 9 a.m. Are you feeling sick? That's not good. Oh, why are you getting why are you getting starry starry eyes? That's not good. Uh maybe have something to drink. A nice plasma pack to drink. And then also I wonder who we should paint next. I'm not sure who we should paint next. I did buy download some more modeling poses. So cause we so far we've done Oh Luna I'd love to, but no. Because we got Nate we got Caleb and we got Dante all painted and up on the walls. We could do Roman next year's next on the list and then just sort of move down the line if we wanted to. Perhaps. Maybe we invite Roman over and get a p portrait of him done. I think. Yeah, that sounds good. Roman is here. We've managed to get him to pose for a good portrait. And is that why I'm seeing blimmin' snow angels on my lot all the time. These kids are coming over, seeing all the snow and making freaking snow angels. It's like, kids, come on. Do it somewhere else, please. So Sam B is now painting Roman's portrait. I think we could get another few people over. I do know for Valentine, I want super dramatic. Because it's Val and I love him and I think he is amazing and I want to put him in another series. <laughs> I would love to put him in another series. I probably shouldn't. Because he's in this one, but it would be funny. It would just be funny. So we got Roman's one done. Now we just got to do Zach, Braylon, Valentine, and Darius. So we'll have to do Zach maybe next. I'm not sure about Zach. Maybe Zach could do one where he gets to shuffle his tattoos. Cause he's a pretty tattooed sim. I'm going to need one with, with the side profile where you can see the tatty on his face. That's going to be the main thing. Ooh, mail's here. I love when the mail's here. Okay, Nate, pick up the mail. Pick up the mail. We don't need bills to pay, thankfully. And then maybe see about getting a new job. Because I think you should be able to... Get a new one. Yeah, find a job. And yeah, it seems I think he's gone off to play in the snow as well. What did you pick up from the Vampire Council? If it even was the Vampire Council. Okay. I think that Nate should go from being a barista to... Hmm. He could. <laughs> he could get into being a style influencer, but that's not his speed. That's not his speed. He's not really into social media as well. Maybe he should just be a painter. A painter or a critic? She could be an art critic, which could be pretty interesting, but I think we'll make him a painter, a master. Because I think he could maybe go into a patron of the arts. Maybe. Yep, you gotta do that. What did you pick up from? Oh, you got Wolfsbane seeds. Uh, also, he did another painting as well. He does like little digital ones, and then he can just like sell those because they're pretty simple. They're not very good, but he's getting better. He is getting better as he goes. He does need to create paintings. So I'm thinking maybe maybe we should also buy a uh, let's buy an easel for Nate. 
There we go, we've got an easel for Nate as well. Okay, get out of that outfit. Put something better on. Because that's just... You're not a barista anymore. And just do some regular paintings. Just do a nice regular landscape painting. Also, they are thinking of going out to the city to do some apartment hunting. There, there are some places that have gone up for sale that want to go, at least by New Year. So probably going to have them go and look for some apartments some, at some point. Maybe tomorrow. For now, we're just going to have these guys focus on a lot of paintings. And this is actually a really good painting. That's actually a good picture of Roman. I like that one. But next, we're doing Zach on the things. Hey, Roman, I see you just coming at the mention of your name. That's always fun. Haha. <laughs> I see he's just got to take a book out. He's just like, cool, I'm just going to go chill and read for a bit. He's a bookworm after all. Which is always a bit of an interesting thing. I find it interesting that he and Lucas became friends. Hmm. That's pretty cool. He knows quite a few people. Nate, I think a couple of them used to be his co-workers. Maybe that was it. That was it. Oh, the painting is done. Oh, that looks so cool. Alright, that's an excellent one as well. Name it, uh, Rome, Man, McLean, I think that's how you say it, actually. Let me double check. Yeah, McLean. Yeah, so, Roman McLean. Frame it and stick it in your inventory and then we can invite can Zach over next. Oh, my little artist boys. It's so cute seeing the both of them. Just doing all the paintings. And Sammy still has a lot of training to do as well. But he's got 24 days. He's got 24 days. Okay. Invite Zach over next. We're going to get his portrait. And we got Zach's portrait started as well. Slight photo bomb with Roman coming downstairs in the background. But it's fine. He got a very attitude. So Esk one for his one. Are you feeling oh you're ill now, Simon B? That's not good. That is not good at all. Did you finish your painting? Oh, you've almost finished it. You've almost finished it. That's good. It's actually not too bad. It looks like a granite falls one. Looks like a granite falls one. This house is getting crap. Who is out there? Roman's heading off. Now Brittany Cho, why are you here? She sees me coming and she's like, I wasn't doing anything. And now she's walking off. And it's like, Brittany Cho, do you have to always, always ruin my series by showing up? Oh, the celebrities sometimes irritate me. It's fine if I ever do the Get Famous series. But no, you can't be showing up in the next series. I might have to delete her from the world if she does that. You done your picture? Yeah, you have. All right, sell that, and maybe I'd say browse the web. But Zach's on the computer now, as well. Oh, Sammy B's not looking good. He keeps like getting starry eyes. Maybe he should probably get some medicine while he has the time. Okay. Oh, okay, you're gonna go and chat with Zach. That's cool. Oh, Sammy B is painting. Nate is now going on looking on the real estate website and looking up at some of the apartments that are available in San Myshuno to rent out. So they can arrange some viewings to get them out of the way. Who is that? That's... I thought that was a little max maybe, but it's not. So he's going to be sorting that out. Sammy B keeps looking at his phone every five minutes when he's supposed to be painting. Come on, Sammy B. You've got like... One, two, three. You're, you're on your fourth painting. You need like four more to go can't be going looking on your phone. I know he's still pretty sad about losing Uncle Jacques and now he's feeling ill and he's tense because he needs to be away. He's away from his phone and he's wild and bored and just crazy but it's like calm down Sammy B. Calm down. Although the painting is actually not pretty good. Zach going for a bit of a classy not classy, sassy kind of look for his portrait. She kind of got cool casual Striking a bit of a confident pose. Dante just full on being, you know, slightly extra but not too extra. And Zach with the sassy, with the sassy look. 
I can only imagine that Val is going to just go straight up, like, full on dramatics. Maybe Braylon will just be kind of casual. And then he's got to do... He actually can't invite Darix over to do the painting here. He's actually got to go over to Darix's place to do his portrait. Because, well, Darix has a pretty good setting for it. And also, he'd request it. He'd request it. He doesn't want to have to head on now. Are you tired, Nate? You poor thing. Oh, you are tired, actually. You should probably go to bed. Oh, he's so sad. Oh, he wants to go cry. Oh, the poor thing. I guess all the paintings and just getting everything out of the way is a distraction. Then when he's finally stopped painting, it's just hit him. And now he's super upset. Oh, it's so sad. My poor little bean. My poor little bean. You might need to actually maybe go... And get some training done. At least. Maybe. Because you get vampire points when you drink from Sims. Which I guess might be what he'll have to do. Oh look there's someone. You sound really down. Come over and I'll cheer you up. Looks like Caleb's going to go and give Sammy B a little bit of TLC. Hanging out with friends. Caleb. Caleb's pretty dramatic anyway when it comes to his eternal sense, but I think Sammy B is just so distraught, especially because he's technically immortal now. So having to see one of his family die, and it was probably made him realise that he's sort of in this undead situation for life, and a lot of his family are probably gonna die. Hey, Lily Bess, come round. I wonder how she's feeling. If she's feeling better. Caleb does seem to be giving him a bit of advice. Like, yeah, death kind of sucks when you're a vampire, even worse. Even Lilith's here, just like, hey, how you feeling? I heard the news. It's nice that she's also coming over to try and cheer him up a little bit. I think, if anything, these two are actually the perfect people for Sammy B to go to for advice in dealing with death and bereavement and being immortal. Can he Next do any more training with them? Now he's way too Oh, whoopee gorge. Hey, he's uh, way too sad Ranger. to do this. this he can't do anything romantic. He's absolutely he's oh, so God. sad. He can yeah. try to flirt and to give go gloomy compliments, but that's really about it when when you're so sad. Although shoot. it still works. Uh -huh. <laughs> it still cool. works. Quite well, probably should. I'd say you should go inside, but it's freezing cold, and you guys don't really feel the cold as much. Do yeah, they cheered him up a little bit, but they didn't do that much. Cheer him up. They gave him some advice, but he's still pretty, pretty sad about everything. He can't do anything romantic at all in this state, which is kind, of, which is yeah, it's very sad, especially when he's. Sad, but it means he can't give Caleb the smooches. He can't give anyone the smooches when he's feeling this sad. Maybe, maybe Nate can give him all the smooches when he gets back. Sammy B's calm. I'm still pretty sad, but Nate, he's decided. He's just being like, "Hey, come here. Just, you know, feel better. Snuggling. I'll snuggle you. Make you feel better. Oh, it's so cute." But Nate's actually been looking, and he's actually found a good apartment for them that they're gonna have a bit of a viewing on. But they're not going to be able to do it until tomorrow after Nate gets back from work. And is he going in the closet? Yeah, yeah. Sammy B's going in the closet. Oh god. It's, so, it's just so heartbreaking to see how depressed Sammy B has been over this whole week. This whole day, Sammy B has just been so sad. And now Nate is feeling anxious. Okay, they've just completely wrecked what I was going to do. I was going to do some cute interactions with them. But apparently they're both too sad and anxious to do anything about it. Why don't you actually continue finishing your painting? Then there's going to be so many paintings in this house when they're done. At least majority of the, like, they're all Sammy Bees. Like, if it's not his boys he's painting, it's just some, like, masterpieces. Or that little piece he did. But I think, you know, I'm going to end this episode here. I feel bad for Sammy B. It's still like, like, he's still so sad about losing Jacques. Maybe not that sad if he can, uh, 
do his cute little vampire ticks, but look how sad he is. Look at that little quivering lip. He's so sad. But in the next episode, they are going to be going to look at a apartment in the city that they just may be moving to at the end of the year, because there's still a lot of time to go. Sammy B's got a lot more training to do. He's got a lot more training to do, and maybe when he's in a better mental state, he can get some more of that done. He may also have to confront Vlad as well, try and fight him at some point. He is getting stronger, but he's probably not as strong as Vlad, so he might get his butt kicked a few times. But we'll see how things go. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye now. You're a stupid boy, treating hearts like toys.